Okay. Okay. Now we are going to discuss about hydromechanical fuel control unit of gas turbine engine. In hydromechanical fuel control unit, there is two sections. Mainly, it is divided into two sections. One is your metering sections. Another one is your computing section. In metering section, we used to meter the fuel which is delivered to the combustor, and in the computing section, we used to calculate the quantity of the fuel to be delivered. So, as shown in the figure, there is the dotted line. You can see the all the dotted lines are called the computing section, whereas these undotted lines are metering sections. In metering section, there is one valve is called mainly it is metering valve, which will meter the fuel as per the requirement, and it will maintain a differential pressure, differential fuel flow between the unmetered fuel and the meter fuel, which is controlled by your differential bypass valve. And in computing section, there is the throttle valve will be there, and one flywheel mechanism which will maintain the speed and as well as which will deliver the fuel as per the RPM requirement. Okay. Now this is the one shut up lever is provided. The shut up lever is only for to shut down the engine when there is when there is no use of the gas turbine engine in case of there is any emergency shut down also you can use the shut up valve and some other cases, for example, if we want to try to shut down the turbine engine by using this metering bypass valve, then what will happen? We have to set the metering bypass for ideal running of the engine, right? As you know, ideal running must be there. For ideal running, we have set one knob is here for minimum fuel flow, which will maintain a minimum amount of fuel to be delivered to the combustor so that engine will alive at ideal conditions. So, this metering valve will not shut up the fuel completely to the combustor. So, that's why we provide one shut up lever which will shut up the fuel flow to the combustor to shut down the engine. Clear? Now comes to the part of the first we will discuss about the throttle part. How throttle is going to maintain the fuel flow. The first thing it is maintaining this is this uh, metering unit will maintain a different equal constant differential pressure between the unmetered and metered fuel flow. For example, if you are taking consideration of to maintain a 5 psi difference in the pressure, so what is here there is one bypass valve which is having a spring tension and spring tension is set for the 5 psi pressure difference. So what will happen, for example, consider the fuel, unmetered fuel is coming with the pressure, for example, take it as a 10 psi, then, then this metering valve will allow the fuel to be flow at least minimum 5 psi to be delivered because it has to maintain the differential of 5 psi pressure. So meter, uh, fuel pressure and unmetered fuel pressure between these two, the differential must be 5 psi as per our example. Then, when the pressure of the unmetered fuel will increase, for example, this 10 psi becomes 15 psi, then what will happen? Then here, whatever the fuel is delivering to the combustor, which is, which earlier it was 5 psi, now it will increase because of the input flow is increased. Yes or no? And the increase, the differential, this is 5 and this is become 15 now, it is increased for example, this is 15, so differential will be, how much? Now it is, for example, this is now 5 and this is your 15, so your difference will be now 10, 10 psi. So, but we, this unit is to maintain the pressure differential must be 5 psi. So, what will happen when this this pressure will increase to the 15 psi then one side of the metering bypass valve will add 15 psi and other side will be the 5 psi then that 15 psi additional 5 psi will force this valve to go back and maintain and allow the fuel to be bypassed the excessive fuel to be bypassed and to maintain a constant position where the pressure differential of this uh, before the metering valve and after the metering valve will be maintained as 
5 psi. So that is what means conjunction with one side your pressure will be the metering fuel pressure plus the spring tension and other side will be the unmetered fuel pressure. So this way this will maintain the differential pressure, constant differential pressure. So that fuel will be delivered in a proper amount. But this opening of the metering valve also is measured by the throttle assembly, RPM and the brazers inside the turbine engine. Okay, how first we come to the throttle part? Then as we know that is the flyback mechanism which will which will run then when the RPM will increase then the flyweight will move apart and RPM when it is decreased then it will come together. So in this diagram the pre, uh, when the RPM will increase then this flyweight will move apart okay by compressing this spring which will move this servo, servo valve to the upward which will increase or decrease this is mainly for uh, pressure is uh, here the pressure requirement will be based on the RPM for example you want to maintain one constant RPM so when RPM will increase beyond the limit what will happen this flywheel will move apart it will force the pilot wall to move up and move this metering wall in the closing direction so that your fuel flow will be decrease then your RPM will come down to the normal range and when this RPM will go down below the specified limit then what will happen this flyweight will move together closer and this this force the wall to come down and allow this metering wall to open more so that more fuel will deliver to the combustor so that it will maintain the RPM now comes to the throttle part when the throttle will be, when you are moving the throttle for the increased direction then it will press this into the direction where the flyweight will show the underspeed conditions means for example when we are increasing the throttle towards the forward direction to increase the power that means we are having under power so that we want to increase the power so what will happen when you push the throttle forward that will press the spring and make the flyweight to act as under speed then when it is acting as under speed then what will happen this will this linkage will allow this metering wall to open further so that allow more fuel to be delivered to the combustor to maintain a constant power as per the throttle setting next when you pull it back then what will happen it release the pressure over the spring then flyweight will act as over speed then this will close this metering valve so that the fuel delivered to the combustor will reduce and your speed will come down next part comes to the this part and next part is your another computing section which we have to consider about the 